the five most legendary snipers of all time. Number 5. Matthaus Hetzenauer, 345 kills. Matthaus Hetzenauer was deployed in Central Europe in 1944 as a part of the Wehrmacht's 3rd Mountain Division. All German efforts at this time focused on slowing down the rapid Soviet advance towards Berlin, as Hitler mobilized some of his best units to stabilize the front in the east. While Hetzenauer first trained as a mountain infantryman, his commanders soon recognized his talent for sniping and started training him as a sniper. He proved to be the deadliest of all German snipers on the Eastern Front, killing at least 345 Red Army soldiers in a span of a few months, before he was sent off due to a head injury. He was even awarded the Iron Cross for his contribution to the German war effort, though as that's now considered a hateful neo-Nazi symbol in most places, that would mean little in the larger scheme of things. Regardless, Matthaus Hetzenauer did his job as well as he could, before being captured by Soviet forces in May, 1945. Number 4. Francis Pegamagabo, 378 kills. While sharpshooters existed before the First World War, the modern sniper really came into his own in the gritty fighting of the Great War. Armed with new, improved weapons like the bolt-action rifle and telescopic sights, these early snipers were extremely effective in the trenches, especially in the early phases of the war, when no one knew how to counter them. By far the deadliest them was an indigenous Canadian soldier called Francis Pegamagabo. Born in the First Nations Ojibwa clan on Parry Island, Ontario, Pega Magabo entered the war as a part of the Canadian Expeditionary Force. He fought as a scout and sniper, often operating in the dangerous no-man's land between the two sides. Despite facing a severe chlorine attack at the Second Battle of Ypres that permanently damaged his lungs, Pegamagabo killed 378 enemy soldiers in the war, before he was hospitalized due to pneumonia in 1917. Number 3. Ivan Sidorenko, 500 kills. Ivan Sidorenko's fighting career started in 1939, when he, like many others across Russia, enlisted in the Red Army to defend against the German invasion. In 1941, he was sent to fight in the crucial Battle of Moscow as a part of a mortar unit that loaded and reloaded long-range artillery shells. In his off time, however, Sidorenko would practice his sniping skills by picking off unsuspecting German soldiers wherever he could find them, all with a standard-issue Mosin Nagant rifle. In three years, his kill count swelled to 500, making him one of the deadliest snipers in history. He was so good at it that he was soon relieved from his position in the mortar team and tasked with training new snipers on the front. Until he was seriously wounded in 1944, Ivan Sidorenko trained more than 250 Red Army snipers on the Eastern Front. Number 2. Vasily Shalbovich, 534 kills. Before the German invasion of Soviet Russia, Vasily Shalbovich worked on a collective farm in the Georgian SSR. While he had served in the Red Army for a brief period between 1932 and 1933, it wasn't until the Second World War that he really found his way with the sniper rifle. By June, 1942, Shalbovich's skills had earned him a place as a sniper in the 138th Infantry Division fighting at Stalingrad. By the end of the war, Shalbovich had killed at least 534 Nazis, making him the most successful Soviet sniper of the war. About 215 of them were made between June and December, 1944, as he fought in places across the front like Kut, Stalingrad, Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, and Germany. Number 1. Simo Heha, 542 kills. The Soviet Union invaded Finland in November, 1939, beginning the bloody winter war that claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. While the USSR ended up with a few territorial gains by the end of it in March, 1940, the conflict is remembered for the stern resistance shown by the Finns, killing more than 126,000 Soviet soldiers for a loss of around 26,000 of their own. One of the faces of that resistance was Simo Heha, a farmer-turned-soldier credited with the highest number of sniper kills in the history of modern warfare. In 98 days, Heha would kill 542 Soviet soldiers, earning him the nickname, the White Death. Unlike the other names on this list, Heha worked with a regular M28-30 rifle without telescopic sights. While it was a basic weapon, even for that time, Heha had mastered it over years of hunting in the Finnish wilderness.